Hello scientists! Hope you had a nice weekend and good start to the week. We are back for science with one of my favorite topics, space. I want to show you a few cool things first. Um, this is, let me shrink my head there. Whoa, that wasn't meant to happen. Where'd my face go? Hope that was still recording. I hope so. Let me check. Yes, it was recording, luckily, but I just, it pays to double check. You don't want to record a huge video and then have to do it all again. This is the space shuttle being carried on a NASA plane being moved around, which is kind of cool. I think they were actually, um, this one looks a bit old, hey? It's all dusty and dirty. I think they were actually decommissioning it, so I'm not going to use it anymore, which is one of the advantages of a space shuttle is that it can be reused. And now, in fact, Elon Musk, the weirdo genius, is uh, with his SpaceX launch, which some of you might have, uh, SpaceX uh, program, his space program, which some of you might have seen the launch of his rockets, the Falcon Heavy. Um, now, even the, the, sh uh, the rocket part of the space shuttle that blasted off, um, he's designed ones that can be reused, which makes it way, way cheaper to launch a rocket um, than having to make new ones every time. And we've got some fighter jets escorting it. I don't know why. Security, I guess. But anyway, that's a cool photo, hey? And this is the first ever space selfie. This astronaut here, just feeling, feeling cute. Might take a photo of myself. So that's the first ever space selfie. And I wanted to show you one other thing as well. This is an astronaut who's been in space for a long time. I'm not sure if I go full screen if it's gonna show you that or not, so I'll just leave it like this. Um, he's been in space for a long time, and so watch how he forgets that he's not in zero gravity with his pen. And he's like, what, what? Ah, oh, forgot that he wasn't in zero gravity. Because he just expects it to float there, right? So he just drops it, explains something else. He's like, what? What? Ah, good one. Got him. All right, just a few um, things to show you before we get started, year fives. Um, and this is what we are doing this week for science. Every time I see this in my browser tab, I think it's like a little bug because it's like bug size. So I'm like, uh, uh, and I'm like, oh no, never mind. To infinity and beyond. So. Um, what we're going to do today is actually start a space research assignment where you have lots of different options to choose from, which is going to be cool. Let me show you what this space research assignment is. It's this. I wanted to put an alien emoji in there as well, but um, I didn't know how everyone would feel about that. So, um, what you got to do first is read the marking guide in the table below. This is the marking guide. Let me go through it quickly because um, you need to know exactly what we're looking for if you want to um, get good feedback on this assignment. Um, so, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, required components. Components means parts. Uh, basically, we are looking for you to actually finish everything that's in your option, your task. So, not leaving any bits out, but actually getting everything done. Pretty straightforward. Just make sure you read through your option really carefully so you can make sure you've done everything. Show us that you've got a deep understanding about this, that you actually read the information that you researched really carefully, that you thought about it, that you asked questions and you found out more information. If you show us a deep understanding, that's going to score high marks. Um, if you show a basic or um, good understanding, you'll score some marks, but not as many as if we can see that you've really thought about it and uh, found high quality information. Presentation, obviously, if it's beautiful mwah, and extremely well organized, then that'll get high marks. Um, if it's quite nicely decorated, that's good. Some nice decorations, but if more effort needed to be put in, then it won't score um, as many marks. One of the most important things, this is one of the most important things to us, needs to be in your own words. If you just copy large chunks of text, you are not going to get any marks for that information. It needs to be entirely in your own words. 
That doesn't mean, scientists, that you copy something and then just change a few words. We can see that that has happened. It's very easy to tell. What we want you to do is read it, understand it, and then explain it in your own words, not just changing little words to make it seem like you did something. It's very easy to tell, and it actually doesn't show a deep understanding. So own words, very, very, muy, muy, muy importante. Very important. References we've done before for your, um, we started doing that for informative writing. So the references just tell us where you got your information from. Website, the title, the author of the book, that sort of stuff. And then lastly, spelling, punctuation, and grammar. If you only made zero to five um, spelling or grammar mistakes, you'll get very high marks. Uh, but the more spelling mistakes or grammar mistakes you make, the lower marks they go down. So you've got to proofread to check that you don't have any of those little, little mistakes um, so that your information is easy to read. There you go, you five. That is the marking guide. We have now read through it. I've explained it. If you forget this, come back to this video and watch it again. Write down the important stuff for yourself to remember. Because maybe you know that you're going to be okay writing it in your own words, but maybe you're a little bit worried about the presentation. So you might come back and check that you've got everything you've needed to um, needed to do by uh, what I've explained in this video. Okay, that's the marking guide. Now the task options. Uh, it says choose one task to complete from the options on the next page. Here we go. So we've got two main groups. We've got the solar system, which is planets and stars. And then we've got space shuttles, astronauts, space exploration. So that's kind of why I showed you those ones first, the space shuttles and the astronauts at the start, because um, I think they're cool and they're relevant to this. Okay, I will let you read through these in your own time, Year 5, but today you're going to be choosing one of these to do. Um, this one about diary entries, an astronaut spacesuit. I'm going to be um, showing you a strategy in a second for this task. Um, it's useful for all of the tasks, but I'm just going to use this one as an example. Um, space rocket is that one. This is space words and definitions. Um, and we're looking for interesting stuff here, not just really basic stuff like planet and star. Um, that's a bit too easy. Constellations are interesting and in how they've been used through history. And then also something we've started before, um, the sun, earth, and moon, how they operate around each other to give us day, night, seasons, etc., which means more than just day, night, and seasons, but a bit more. So this, because we've covered this a little bit before, you'll need to use technical language, so show us that you know what some of the important words mean, and also detailed diagrams or models to actually show that you understand. So there you go, your five. Those are your options, and I'm quickly going to choose this astronaut's task to show you a couple of things um, to help you out with this. Um, is a strategy that you've used before to brainstorm some questions. And it is this strategy, fact, find, further, flip. Now that's going to be really useful today, Year 5, because you're going to start brainstorming some questions for your chosen topic, like we did for informative writing. So I'll give you a quick recap now. The fact is something that you already know or that you found out. For example, astronauts' boots, the boots of astronauts, are made from whatever. I'm just going to make it up. I don't know if this is true, but reinforced rubber and steel. Could be that, probably. I don't know. Maybe. When you find that out, that's your fact. Now you're going to find out why. So you're going to ask why are astronauts' boots made of those materials. So a why question is a good one to start on the find step to ask why for the fact you had that you started with. Further could be what else are astronauts suits made from? Further, another option for further could be what were some other options for the boots to be made from? Something like that. Um, and
And a flip is when you ask um, the reverse question. So for this boots one, there might not be a good reverse one, but it could be something like, what materials didn't work as astronauts boots? Maybe you could find some information um, about them testing different materials and maybe something went wrong and they decided this is not a good idea. So you might be able to find some information about that. And there you have some interesting questions, Year 5s, that are really going to drive your research. So you come up with that information that's really interesting for us to read. And it also means that you are going to show a deeper understanding of your information. So there you go, Year 5. I have underlined the bit um, for each question that kind of makes that question what it is. So find is why, further is what else, and then flip is kind of the opposite. So there you go. You can post in there, Year 5. Obviously, if someone's posted, don't delete it. Just leave it there for them to find out. Um, oops. And hopefully that helps. I will just shift this around a little bit so that you can access everything you need for this assignment. There you go, Year 5. Um, you can read the task for what you need to do today. Choose which option in the project you'd like to find out more about. Brainstorm some questions using fact, find, further, flip. And then you can start researching answers. And also, as I showed you, use the collaborative doc on the science page to post anything you're having trouble with. If you need a teacher, though, just post in the forum. If you have a question about um, that you think only a teacher can answer. Okay, there you go, you five. I think that's it. Looking forward to seeing all your exciting information to infinity and beyond. Talk to you soon. Bye.